Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you had an amazing weekend. Hope you enjoyed Sunday's bling bling. I had a little incident. Now, just to give you a heads up, if you are attempting to do this in the shadow box, let this dry like completely. I was so excited. I threw it right in the, the shadow box, took it to work and it kept fogging up. And I'm like, well, it's, the air conditioner was on at work and then I had the heat, you know, the heat with being in the car. So I thought it was the condensate. No, took it back to the trailer to show my husband and I had it sitting like this and I looked over and I went, oh my God. All of here was like, uh, it was like I'm melting. <laughs> oh my goodness. So please, let it completely dry. I would even give it like a week or two just so that it's completely dry before you throw it in that uh, amazing frame. But I think I saved it. It looks pretty good. There's only a couple little one there, one there. But this actually does now look like the water is running over. I still love it. I wouldn't change a thing on it. But just to um, give you a heads up, because I was so disappointed. I looked over and I went, what is that? It was like a melting. <laughs> the, the wicked witch came and ruined my painting. <laughs> so with that, my beautiful people, today we're going to get into a rainbow Dutch pour. I'm excited. I have a, let me find, let me find it. It is in the top of my garbage full of paint, so I can't show it to you. Uh, 16 by 20 inch canvas. I have it push pinned. I have it taped. I have it sticks underneath because it's not level but it is now so i'm going to bring you down and we're going to go through some colors i had to mix up some more white i'm out of white i don't know i need to go buy paint and i'm not sure guys if it's american and canadian you need to go get some canvases guys they're on sale i'm gonna push this back because oh here let me lift you up if i can Oh, there we go. Bear with me, my friends. I got to get you all in there. There we go. We're in there. Perfect. Okay, so these are the colors I've chosen. I am using Grumbrucker's Alzarian Crimson for the red. I'm using Pepio Studios Iridescent Orange Yellow for the orange. I'm using Liquid X Basics Bright Cadmium Yellow with Iridescent Medium. Sorry, I had to read there. Pebbio Studio for the yellow. Pebbio Studio Iridescent Green Yellow for the green. I'm using Deco Art Extreme Sheen Sapphire for the blue. And this one is the one I contracted from the other day and I don't know what it was I put in here. So. This is my indigo. Basically, it's like a bluey purple. And then this one is my Modern Masters Metallic Amethyst. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to variate them all like Olga does in hers. And we are just going to have fun with it. I had mixed up some white using my um, Dutch Pour Mix. And these are all Dutch Pour Mix. I will um, link my pouring mixing video in the description box. See, this canvas is um, kind of out of whack. I put my level on there and it's level, but then I don't know. It is what it is, my friends, and I'm going to go with it. And you want it to be runny, but not too runny. So here we go. We're going to lay down our base. Oh, I was so upset. I thought I had to, I just got back from my trailer yesterday and I'm like, oh, I got to go out to the store. I ran out of protein, propane for my little butane, sorry, for my little torch, as you probably in the last few videos have noticed. <laughs> and I'm like, no, but I found one. It was buried. All right, so I'm going to use my amazing omelet spatula. 
This is OXO, the same company that I have those amazing um, mix, mixing cups I like to use. <clears throat> Nice even coat. I can't believe my flowers, guys. I was gonna do a little update. I just those ones I planted are just crazy. And the one that I said was edible, you guys gave me the name. They the flower on it is gorgeous. It's red and orange. All right, let's just get this on there. Perfect. I'm just going to give it a wipe off. You want to keep it nice and clean. It's easy to do it as you're going. And I'm just putting it right on my... There we go. I always put my bottles... My bottles and a squeeze bottle. My paints and a squeeze bottle. Oh, my goodness. Gonna get the edges. Oh my goodness. It's still, my phone is making some noise. My apologies, guys. There we go. I'm like, that'd be funny if it was my own video that was popped up, but it wasn't. There we go. Perfect. Give a little squirt here where I see... I am such a messy Marvin all the time. All right, pretty good. I'm going to take my sweater off, guys, just because I know it will end up, which it already has paint on it, I'll end up with a lot of it even more. <laughs> all right, now that I've got some butane in this, let's give this a good torch. Oh, I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> it, it got away on me. All right. Lots of bubbles because I just mixed that up. And that's too funny because you can see the two paints that I mixed. I'm just going to get make sure the edge is done here. Perfect. And the front. It's the only thing you guys can see what I miss up there, but I can't see it, so you have to tell me. All right, wipe my fingers off. I don't know, like doing this au naturel, guys. Okay, so let's get <sighs> putting some paint down. I don't know sure how I want to do this. Old school, right down the middle. And I'm going to do it in puddles. Two. Ooh, that one I think got a lot in there. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but we're playing. We're just going to... I know there's a lot of paint. This might just work out. Okay. Okay. 
and the modern masses. And then this one, I'm going to come back with the red. And the orange. And I'm going to put the purple. <gasps> Get off there. In this one. Maybe it'll tie it all together. And this might look like, you know what? It's hard to play. And like I said before, life's too short to be rigid. And this is how we're doing it. I probably... <laughs> Probably should have put more paint down there. All right, let's give it a good torch. And we are just gonna see how it goes. I have my amazing new blow dryer from my amazing friend, Laura. Even though her name ain't Laura, her name is Sandra. So I'll make sure it was on. And here we're gonna go. We're just gonna, I don't know where to start. We'll start with the middle. that turned out actually quite cool. Ah, that's amazing. Actually, I kind of like down there. Let's see if we can blow a little more color down here. That's what happened. I had it on high. It went crazy. put a little more green and yellow in here and I'm gonna blow it down this way and maybe that blue the white blue over it and I don't kind of kind of don't really like that idea okay here we go guys amazing I don't want to get rid of that so I'm gonna leave it I think this is actually pretty cool Loving how this comes out in here. There's a lot of paint on here though. And remember, keep coming. Use your stick, use your finger, use whatever tool that you desire, but keep coming down. I'd say every 10 minutes or so and give everything a scrape down just so that your canvas does not, let's get that color out of there. Um, your canvas does not pull all of your composition off. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm in love with that. Let's see if we can get that up here. Let's get our little torch here. It's usually where there's white, there's color. Maybe not. But that is cool. I like that. I'm going to leave it. I don't want to touch it. I think this turned out amazing. And, and again, like, it's not for everybody. But you know what? I like it. I love... I'm a... As you already know, I'm a turquoise, blue, purple kind of girl. I... I red. Always wore red. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat. I like... This is kind of cool. All right, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up, and then we're going to let this dry. So I'm going to put you on pause, guys, so I don't make you seasick, and I'll be right back. Here we go. Look at this. I like it. I'm 
not sure. And I like doing it that way with the puddles with variated colors. Look at, like, that's beautiful. I like kind of how that is in. I don't really like when the white goes over it because I'm a bold color girl. But that is amazing. This is amazing. Like, I love the colors in that. Now let's just hope it dries this way. Look at all that. I like that wispy. It almost looks like the waves coming up on the ocean. And that bottom there, just it fell right off because I had too much. My paint was more on that end as opposed down here. Just not sure about the white in there. I'd love to have that color, but I don't want to blow it because I love that. And this just looks so plain. But that's all right. I'm not going to play with it. Love how it does it. Now the only thing, I don't know. Will I do the finger pulling through? I don't know. Join it all together. <laughs> Will it bring color through? Let's see. Oh, I'm afraid to touch it. No, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> too hilarious all right i have to go to work so i'm gonna let this dry and hopefully i will see it in the um at the end when i get home from work it should be nice and dry all right guys i'll see you in a little bit hello i am back this is more or less dry there's just a little patch up there that's a little bit damp but i thought i'd give you a show i thought it turned out amazing i love all the colors in it um yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you would think about subscribing. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell up in there for notifications for your next time I put up a video. And with that, in my description box, I have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I also have the links to... Um, sorry crystal resin with a new discount code it is sherry molten 5 capital s i also have the links to crystal even though it's let's resin oh my goodness my brain's not working guys i'm sorry um my discount code for let's resin is sherry m10 capital s capital m i also have the links to <clears throat> The two amazing La distributors, um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. Check out her website. She's got a lot more than just the La Res paste. She's got glitters and resins and all kinds of amazing stuff. My American La Res distributor, my glitter guru, Laura from Laura's Art Corner. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. Check out her website. She's got some amazing products other than La Res. She's got glitters, of course, and resins and all kinds of stuff. So with that, I have my Amazon links, which I'm an affiliate with. And I also have my PayPal link if you choose to donate. My long-winded exit is over. With that being said, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.